Hello YouTube. Here we are. We're up at the slab. Brackets are all set. Everything's good to go. Everything's all square, drilled in. Cut the bolts down to size. We are 100% ready to set posts. So if you're curious how we got to this point of squaring up the slab and setting these brackets, by all means, go back and watch the part one of this build. I just did that the other day. So I've got my first three of the six posts up here. I've got the other ones on the barn. It's a little, little cloudy. It's been a little rainy, so I don't want to drag them all out and have everything get wet. So my brackets are stainless steel brackets, and they are um, supposed to be eight by eight, but and that's what my posts are milled to. But the actual width when they came in, they're stainless. I got them online. Really nice brackets, but they are seven and a quarter inside to inside right here so because of that i had to come in at the bottom of the brack of the post i cut them square with my awesome little chainsaw attachment to my circular saw and then put them on the saw mill and just milled off just a little bit at each end so that they will fit in the bracket plan to get these set since i'm pretty much by myself today i'm gonna use my tractor pallet forks i've got a strap i'm gonna get some two by four scraps and screw them to the uh, top of the posts because i've not cut these posts to length yet wrap the strap around that using those two by fours is uh you know something for the straps to hold on to and not slip off i'm gonna lift them up with the pallet forks mosey over here and then somehow finagle each post in the actual base um, by myself so the heavy lifting will be done by the tractor but it's going to be interesting figuring out how to get these things wiggling and in their respective brackets but hey we'll figure that out let's get going Since I am doing this solo at the moment, I had put blocks at the top and I was gonna raise it up, but these posts are so long, I realized my front end loader won't go high enough. So I've strapped it closer down towards, you know, a little bit above middle. And now we're gonna go over, carry it over, see if we can't finagle it into our first our first bracket. So we kind of have the post in the bracket. I need to tilt my fork, straighten it up, and I need my outside edge of the post flush with the outside edge of the bracket. We got post number one in the bracket. 
plumbed up I might have to brace it but you know I got it set plumb before I set the screws in look at that yes 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 So the brackets will be covered by one by 10. And yeah, that's pretty darn high. I'm gonna cut those posts down. I'm gonna probably cut them to eight and a half feet. They need to be cut to length, but, and I'll have to brace these to get these perfectly plumb and cross brace and all of that. So it needs to come out just a hair, but we're pretty darn good. It's going way smoother than I thought it would. three posts set by myself look at that
All right, post five set. Again, we'll get these good and plumb. You know, that one's leaning a little bit. We're gonna get these all plumb and braced and square and set perfect before we start running our beam. Check it out. All six posts put into place. I'm pretty excited. They went super smooth. I don't think it took me actual work on the columns, not counting moving materials and all that. I think it took me about two hours, two, two and a half hours. I did all three of these and about an hour the first ones were a little slower I need to brace them get them plumb and square and then I need to cut them to length and then I'm ready to start setting my beams and that is pretty darn exciting We got all the posts braced. Now we're going to cut them to length. Woo! What I need to do is go get a 14 foot board and run it along to make sure it's level. Cause there's a little bit of fall in the concrete so the water drains and so if i can get a straight board run it across put the level on it then i can mark this and then i can run everything off of that Check it out. All six posts cut, set, braced, 100% ready to put the frame on. Pretty darn exciting. That's pretty exciting. I'm pretty 
pretty darn excited since I milled all of this lumber from trees on my property, cut the trees down, felled them, cut them up, brought them up from down there, it was way down at the creek, brought them up, brought them over to my sawmill over there at the barn, milled them, and now look at what we have. I am super excited. Everything just dead, true, square, ready to go. I used to build a lot of stuff, but this is probably the most exciting thing I've built because I've never built something with lumber I milled with my own hands. So that's pretty exciting. Very satisfying, in fact. <laughs> 